are live. It's 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We're in Montreal. It's Heather Boydwire here and I'm doing my weekly live stream and I'm still on a roll with the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. So that's what we're working on today. And if you're hopping on the live stream, just introduce yourself, say hello, and I'm going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see the comments and stuff. So I keep flip-flopping with the time, but this seems to be a good time because in the UK, you guys can watch me and it's not the middle of the night. Hey, Martha, how are you? You're the first one on. That's awesome. And you can see in the back, I have a little bit of my art collection there. It's my friend Serena that did that beautiful portrait. My friend Jonathan in Ottawa, he's got a company called Start Arts. He makes beautiful Mandela paintings and my friend Stephanie, and this is a girl, Dominique, in Montreal, and my cousin in San Francisco uh, did that one. So, and we have, oh, I gotta read on my computer. Rhiannon is here, hello, perfect time in the UK, yes. Okay, so maybe I should stick with these earlier times because I know there's a lot of people in the UK. And Denise says, hi, hi guys. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the screen so we can get started. Uh, let me just do that. Flip the screen. I'm upstairs because the Wi-Fi is better. There's our living room, our fan because it gets pretty warm here. And we're going to go down and just put this in the right position so we can see everything. Martha says, love your videos. Thank you so much, Martha. I really appreciate that. And I have such fun with them. You know, you guys are amazing. I just love your feedback and stuff. So that's awesome. So this is what we're working on today. Let me pull them down a little bit more. Here's the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. Some people have a wig jig. There's different kinds of jigs around. Tracy says, hi from West Virginia. Hey, how are you? And so what I've done, guys, is I, I, um, I mapped out all the letters of the alphabet. So last week on the live stream, we did A, B, C. It actually took us 40 minutes to make three of these. So that was a little ridiculous. But I won't be rebeating the, the um, letters this time because you can watch last week's a replay if you want to learn how to add the beads. So we have ABC. So let's get these. We're going to get rid of the ABC and we are going to work on in order the letters of the alphabet. So we need a D. I guess I didn't sketch out the D, but I have, I did sketch out the E and the F. So we're going to do that. And uh, before I get started with the wire work, I wanted to show you guys something funny. I write comics. So this is, um, I just printed up a little comic book of all my comics from Instagram. I have about 600 of them on there now. I've been doing them for a few years. And a few years ago, a couple years ago, this one actually went viral on Reddit. It was kind of crazy. So this is me and my daughter. A lot of the comics are me and my daughter having uh, conversations and uh, just the humor that we find, find in it. So I, I actually made up a little comic book and I put it in my Etsy shop. So that's kind of fun. If anybody likes uh, to laugh, uh, you can follow Heather Boyd Comics on Instagram, which is really cool. So let's get started with the wire because that's what we're all here for. And we're gonna uh, do the D, E, F at least today. And so what I did was I mapped these up so they're all like one, two, three, four, five, six. So. So we're gonna start with the basic height that they're all gonna be the same size. Now these would be a good size either for a large pendant or a decoration or a keychain. So it's kind of a good gift idea. So let's go ahead and start, um, we'll start right up at the top, I guess. Um, can you guys see that okay? I can almost tilt it if I want. So we have, Tracy says, love your stuff. You really make it easy to understand for beginners. Well, that's awesome. I'm so happy. I've done a lot of teaching. Um, okay, I need the smaller peg. I've done a lot of teaching for adults and kids, and I love teaching, especially with the kids. We have such a great time. It really is amazing. So, uh, so we're going to start at the top. We're going to count down one, two, three, four, five. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. And the thing to remember with the jig is you want to put the little plugs on the back too because otherwise they really start to um, kind of get uh, pushed all over the place. And you know what? I think this, let me, gonna start, I'm going to start one further down because that little corner peg is going to get in the way. So let's do that. We're going to start here. And we're gonna count down one, two, three, four, five. So that should be good. We're gonna do that. And Martha, Martha says, Winifred's, oh, it, my high wind. So there's Winifred. So uh, hi, Winifred, how are you? So do you go by wind? Maybe you guys know each other. Are you guys friends? 
That's cool. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and start with those. And then to do the D form, because the largest peg we have is this size, and I'm actually gonna be working on a, a video to how to make your own pegs and stuff. I think that would be really uh, interesting to do. So if you don't, of course we don't have a peg big enough, so you can use either a, um, a ring form, or I also have a pill bottle. Let me just get my pill bottles. So I think I showed you guys last time, I have, I keep a bunch of pill bottles. This is one of my tools. And basically I just put one pill bottle in front of the other. So I have, it's like a little um, babushka doll. So they have different sizes of the pill bottles to work with as well. So we see Galen is here. Good afternoon, awesome. Everybody's hopping on, that's fantastic. And let me know where you guys are in the comments. So we're gonna start with this kind of setup with the jig. And then I'm going to get some thicker wire. I'm using aluminum wire to play around with the jigs because it really is a lot softer than copper wire. Like it's much easier to work with. And um, it also, the nice thing about aluminum wire, it makes really nice sharp right angles. Whereas the copper tends to be a little bit on the soft side. So that's why I like to use the aluminum. So if we just stick this wire here for the D, so Teresa says, I'm in South Carolina. That is so cool. I think I probably was in South Carolina when I was a kid. We actually used to go on camping trips all across the States and they were a lot of fun with my family. We had four kids and my parents all, we used to always go in, um, in the car and we had a trailer. So that was, that was a lot of fun. So this pot pill bottle might be a little bit big so let's try this one. This one also, this one might be a little bit small. So it's hard to get like the happy medium. So let's start with the big one and then we can maybe bend it smaller. And if this is wiggling around here, just bend it a bit so it won't wiggle around so much. And then we're gonna put the pill bottle on here. I'm gonna bring this a little further down so you guys can see it a little better. And then we're gonna bend this one around. Now the thing I'm trying to do with the letters is actually make sort of double wires so we can so you'll have enough to wind the um, the beads around so if we just start with like this kind of curve here it's almost it's probably almost easier to do this one freehand but let's just go go for it just just to do what we can to do things on the jig now if you find you have to like work it around and the other thing you could do with it with the jigs is if you find the pill bottle isn't working one of the hacks I have is just to kind of rub it with your hand, like rub it with your fingers to, to get it to make that curve shape. So let's go ahead and uh, so Martha says bye, I'll stream later. Perfect, no worries. Yeah, I have, I totally will not be offended if you guys find these live strings long and you just wanna hop on and say hello and then watch the rest later. I have no problem with that whatsoever because I know sometimes these can be really long, especially when I'm kind of troubleshooting new ideas. So what I'm going to do now is take two more pegs and stick them on the inside of these and then we're gonna wrap this around. So Teresa says we live on a beautiful Lake Marion. Oh, wow, I'm hooked on wire jewelry making now. Thank you so much for your work, it's beautiful and you make it so and fun to learn. Thank you so much, I'm so happy. Wow, aren't you lucky to live on a lake? That is gorgeous. My parents have a cottage actually in Ontario. It's about probably four hours from Montreal and I usually go up every summer for a bit. Sometimes I bring up my wire and it's just beautiful. And I actually love to bring my watercolor paints too and I paint the lake and then I make greeting cards which are sort of a watercolor background with the wire, uh, little wire kind of figures or, or, or designs on top. So do you guys see what I've done here? I've done one part of the D and then I've gone on these pegs and done the other part of the D. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'll remove it from the jig. I'm gonna leave these here so I remember what I did. So you'll see, and let me move this over just so you can see it. So there's the, the D, and then what you wanna do is this, for this part here, just bend it a little bit so it's gonna hold in place and then bend this up. And then you wanna wrap, bring this up here, and then we're gonna wrap this around and clip it off. So that's gonna be, that's going to be the top. And then, cause you always need some way to hang the letter. And then we're just gonna, with our round pliers, form a little loop at the top here. So we're gonna form that around, form the little loop, and then cut it off. 
and then we have the D and you might have to bend it a little bit and see. So the thing about this D is you could leave it like that, but my idea was really you can add beads. So afterwards with a thinner wire, probably 24 gauge, you can wrap a whole bunch of seed beads around it, but there at least you have your basic shape. So there's the D. Now let's do the E and the F because I think they should be pretty easy. And I'll do them, I'll leave those there so I remember what I did with the D. And then I'll just bring this over here, go on the same line, and we'll just put that here. In fact, you know what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put plugs on the back of these so they don't come out because I don't want to lose those. So let's just put some plugs on the back. And Teresa says, I've never been to Canada, would love to visit sometime. The lake is peaceful, wildlife beautiful. Want to try to make the, oh, a wire hummingbird. Okay, that's a great idea. Maybe I could um, maybe I could do a design next week and try so, the hummingbird. That's a really good idea. So let's go ahead and just over here, we're going to put another peg to start the uh, F. And I bet we'll use the probably the same jig for the E and the F. I think we'll be able to use the same uh, the same setup for both. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five. We'll stick that one there. And I'll just, I think I'll just do letters this week. And then next week, um, that'll be, you guys are going to be sick of the letters. So what I'll do is I'll work on the templates myself and then I'll, uh, I'll um, make some little uh, printouts of the templates. I think that's going to be easier. So this goes one, two, three, and two in between. So that's, we'll go put that one there. But these are really interesting just to figure out the designs. Like it's really a fun process. So that we're going to count down here. Uh, one, two, and then over one. One, two, and then over one. And these are just ones I've sketched out. I haven't actually tried these yet. So that's the fun thing about the live stream is we just kind of figure it out as we go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And But this one should work okay. I'm going to set it up for the E and the F. And then we'll try them both and see if they actually work how I planned. Because sometimes when you plan something, it doesn't always turn out how, how you plan. So let's just put this one, go one, two, three. Yeah, so there's our setup. Pretty symmetrical for the E and the F. So we've got our setup there, very similar. I don't know if you guys can see the sketch, but it's very similar to what I sketched out there. And we'll get our wire. This is um, 1.2 millimeters, which in gauge, I'm guessing it's about 18 gauge, something like that. So we're going to do this. We're going to cut it. So, oh, we have Heather. Hi, Heather, from another Heather. All awesome, from New Brunswick. Finally caught your live again. Awesome. I like the new time and I love your videos. Oh, fantastic. So maybe this is a great time to do the live streams. I will have to send a pic of the wire horse head I did. Oh, I'd love to see see that. So if you're in the Wire Art and uh, Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook, you could post it there. And if you're not on Facebook, you could definitely send me pictures to uh, info at heatherboydwire.com. And if you want me to uh, share it, I can put it in the community section of my of my page. So now let's see if we're going to, if this E is going to work. We're going to like always start by having a little edge at the top you're going to make a loop with. And we're going to bring this around and always bend it a little past your peg. So we're going to bring it down here. And then maybe we could do the same thing what we did before, which was have a little, another little peg kind of diagonal here. So let's see if that's going to work. It's a little tricky. This wire is very long and now it's going to get in the way of my iPod. I probably, you know what, I think I cut it way too long. So let me just trim it a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to be distorting everything here. So we're going to bring this up. And now this one is the... I'm not sure about this because if I bend it here, it's not going to be... Yeah. What I'm going to... I'm going to try something different. Because if I bend it here, I just want to make it as easy as possible for you guys, like with the jig. So if I bend it around like this, it's going to look a little funny. But the thing is, if you beat it it should be fine, like it should look good. So let's try it like this, we'll see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, we'll figure out something else. So let's start with this. And 
that way and then around this way. We want to make sure this is pulled nice and tight and around this way. Okay, so there's our basic shape. Not quite sure what it's going to like. We're going to see. Yeah, see, it's a little bit interesting. It might work, like, because if you're going to wind it with beads anyways, it's probably all right. But we could try another way to do it after this. So let's just try like this. And we're going to bend this one up. And then we want to bend this one around. And then we're going to form our loop at the top. And we'll see what it looks like. So there's our... It's hard. There's a bit of a shadow. So there's the E. We're going to bend it this way. And like I said, if you add beads to it, it's going to hide the fact that there's that little line there. But maybe we can get around it. Let's see what we can do. So there's the E like that. And, but let's bring it back. So what I'm thinking is, what if we put, okay, I'm going to pull these out. There's the pegs underneath, so, or the plugs, we'll get rid of those. So what if we just put one here and one here? Let's see if this is going to work. Not quite sure, but let's see. So I'll cut another piece of wire. Hopefully not too long this time. And we're going to put this one here. And let's try again. So we're going to go there. Always bend it a little beyond the peg just to make a nice sharp bend. Okay. And then this one down here. Sometimes it's almost easier to make these by eye, but I think it's going to be okay. And then if we bend, oh, you know what? This is going to be much better. I don't know why I didn't think of this to begin with. So if we put that there and there, and then this one can go sort of in between those two. And then we're going to go around. Oh, I think it just froze. Okay, let me, this happened before. I'm not sure why, but let me know in the comments if you can still hear me because I think the video just froze and I wasn't paying attention. So that's going to be a problem. So let me know, you guys, if you, you can hear me. See, this happened before. I'm not quite sure why. So let's just, uh, I'm going to just, Finish the E, what I'm doing now. Unfortunately, you can't see it, but I'm not quite sure the best thing to do for this because I think you can hear me, eh? This happened last time. It's so strange. I'm going to have to maybe see what's going on with that, but it's too bad because the E actually turned out really, really well. So you know what I'll do because I have a feeling it's not going to come back. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'll sign off and then I'm gonna put pictures of the E and the F in the, um, let me know if you saw the beginning of the E, uh, just so I have an idea and I'll put pictures of the E and the F in the Facebook page. And I guess I'm gonna have to sign off. So that was like a short and sweet one. I'm so sorry that it jammed. I have no idea why it did that. But thank you guys all so much for hopping on. That was awesome. And uh, we'll, we'll try again next week. But next week I'll do some other things. And maybe I can work on the hummingbird and some other ideas uh, next, next week. And I'll try to figure out why, why YouTube Live uh, jammed. Or maybe I could even do something in the Facebook group. In fact, you know what I could do? Maybe what I'm going to do now is I'll try to hop on live in the Facebook group now. Just for fun. So if you, any of you are on Facebook in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. Uh, go over there now, I'm gonna try to hop in live. And in the meantime, I'm gonna just shut down, uh, shut down the live stream for now. So thanks for watching.